Hi, so in this video, I'm going to be telling you about some major history taking points in ophthalmology as it has some differentiations from other histories. So we're just going to get a brief um, know how of how to do it. So the first point is patient's profile. And as we all know that after greetings and introducing yourself, uh, we ask the patient's profile that are, that are the demographic details of the patient that may includes name, age, gender, address marital status, occupation, date or in time of presentation and place of presentation or either the patient is referred via OPD or emergency department because that differentiates the uh, type of management we are going to do. The next thing that is included is presenting complaints. The presenting complaints the presenting complaints includes uh, the illnesses that a uh, patient comes with and we write that in chronological order. For example, if uh, he had the watery eyes from past four days and then he had itching from the past three days, then purulent discharge from past one day. So we are going to write it in the chronological order. Then comes H O. PI and that is history of presenting illness. History of presenting illness uh, includes day zero of illness complaint, then uh, history of presenting illness of each presenting complaint. We are going to take a detailed history of the all the associated symptoms of the elevating of the relieving factors of the condition he's suffering from and uh, each and every important question. So uh, why it started, from how much duration, etc. Then the history on questioning, like uh, positive history and negative history, whether uh, some associated features are present or whether some associated, uh, associated, associated symptoms are not present in the history. Okay? Then uh, we come to past history, past history. So this is an important point in uh, uh, ophthalmology history because in past history, we take past ocular history, past medical history and past surgical history. Past medical and past surgical histories are same as for medicine and surgical histories and uh, other histories as well. But in past ocular history, you are going to ask about the past medical, past surgical ocular history, past medical ocular history and the history of glasses. If he or she wears glasses already, what is the number? When did he get it, etc. Then we come for personal history. Personal history is also very important because it tells you about the hygiene, the all other uh, things that he has, education, smoking, addictions, immunizations, uh, traveling from here to here because some of the ophthalmological conditions are associated with the area they are residing in or they have traveled to. Then comes the family history. Family history. Family history is very important because some of uh, the causes of night, night blindness are hereditary. Uh, then uh, we also know that if there are associated, and for example, if uh, a patient has a family history of diabetes or hypertension, that he can have retinal hypertensive hair retinopathy, diabetic retinopathy, he's prone to that. So some of the hereditary disorders can be known by such history and then we come to socio-economic history and socio-economic history and uh, we ask for the average income the housing pets because some of them are allergic to pets as well and other things and uh, other than that uh, I this is all about uh, the ophthalmology it is a very brief history uh, and uh, we don't need to go in so much detail because in I in ophthalmology uh, we look for exam look for the symptoms and signs in examination. So that is much more important than history. But history is a vital part of uh, making a diagnosis. So we cannot miss it. So this is all for history taking in ophthalmology, and I'll be um, taking some points and. Uh, giving you details about that in our in my next videos it is just a brief overview of what history uh, in ophthalmology is like thank you